So I spent a lot of time thinking that I'm Superman. Turns out that I'm not. Uh, last night I barely got any sleep because I, I didn't feel good. So, consequently, today, we're going to the doctor. Haven't been to the doctor in... No, I went to the doctor when I sprained my ankle, but only because they made me. Mm. You guys make me go to the doctor. For being sick, I haven't been to the doctor in probably about 16 years. So, uh, we're on our way to the doctor. Good times. Jen tells me I'm lucky because I get a girl doctor. Ooh, you look so silhouette -y. Ah, yes. The doctor's office. Oh, good times. Ah, biohazard. Things have changed a lot since the last time that I was here. They got this little thing that they put on your finger to get your, your heart rate. And then, I don't know, the... the Everybody always has a different way of taking your temperature. This one was underneath my tongue, but it took like two seconds. You know, there's like some sort of OSHA rule about me recording in here. Shh, don't tell anybody. So the doctor told me that I am Superman and that I am unbreakable. Well, actually, he told me that I'm getting better. Like, even without any medicine. He's like, oh, you're doing good for not having taken any medicine. I said, that's right. So I'm Superman. And he's like, well, no, not really. Uh, you do have to take medicine. And I was like, dang it. So I have to go get some medicine now. I have to get, what do I need, amoxicillin? Yeah, amoxicillin, bacteria, hooray. You know what I just did? I just paid $139 for Jen to eat goldfish. No, for the low, low price of $139, you got to see a doctor, gave you two prescriptions, and this. And goldfish. And I got to read an Allure magazine. What a deal. Hey, whatever happened to Andre 3000? I know that big boy's like still out there rapping, but I miss Andre 3000. He was, he was like a, like a, a genius. Like, um... Who's the guy that murdered those people that has the crazy hair? The, he's uh, Spectre, Phil Spectre, and uh, not, and uh, Brian Wilson. But Andre 3000 is not as crazy as those two. So Thor bought a new car and he's like out here rocking out to loud music already. Look at that! Whose car is that? I don't know, whose car is it? I don't know. It's pretty fancy. Somehow I woke up and there was a Camaro in my parking lot. Wow, I can't see it at all, it's too black. There's one right across the street there too, look at that. Oh, I feel like I'm in some sort of a crazy sports car. Look at this thing. Now that's fancy. Ooh, it's like leather dash. That's nice, very nice. Still smells like a new car and new car smells like burning electric because the electric's still being like, uh, what's that called? Broken in. Tim got a new car. I got a new car. We're taking this, this here is the 2012 Camaro. Taking it for a quick spin around the block. Watch out. Watch out for what? I don't know. I thought you were going to hit something. Is there a car coming? I hope not. What do you want me to film? All right. Let's let's peel out here in front of the house. <laughs> peeling out. Mm. Yeah. Not really peeling out because this is fancy car USA. Not going to peel out. This is nice. Isn't it? Look, it's got a leather dash. Ooh, leather. I want to have a leather dash in my car. Oh, that's nice. Won't it crack? No. It'll just get weathered like John Wayne, huh. right? This car is going to be turned into John Wayne. Oh. This isn't really my car. This is Thor's car. We Thor. just took it. Thor got a new car. Thor got a new car, and this is called what did he call it? The Raven or the Crow? I think the he crow. calls it the Crow. It has like black rims, right? I don't know. We need to look at that. It's too dark outside to see. The steering wheel feels really nice. Yeah. It's got like these little Batman thing. It's got got paddle shifters on it too. Oop! There's our road. Almost went past it. Check out those paddle shifters. Yeah, I like it. Those are they cool. Don't, they don't do anything right now because you're not, we're in, not manual. in manual. You're in drive. Yeah. You get me for five minutes, and what I do, I drive. I drive. I'm a driver. Oh, no, I can't see that way. Is there anybody coming? Oh, no, nobody. But we were watching The Biggest Loser, right? Great show. It's a terrible show. Anyways, it's not a terrible show. It was a very sad show. And this guy, he's like, it goes to the doctor and the doctor's like, you answered no on everything. Like, you've had nothing wrong with you, right? And the guy's like, yeah, no, I'm perfectly healthy. And he goes, guess what? You have diabetes. And the guy's like, no, diabetes. <coughs> Starts crying. Right after that scene comes up a thing. It was like, well, you want to be on The Biggest Loser? No, you just told the guy he has diabetes and made him cry. Why would I want to be on your stupid show? I gotta try to get to bed early so that I can get healthy. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.